Welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're going to make a batch of chocolate chip cookies. It's been a while, got a special request, and I'm going to make my special Jeff Blyer recipe for chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so anyway, that being said, let's get started. I've got one pound of dark brown sugar uh, already in the bowl. I weighed it out. Normally, you would, you know, if you're going to just use the, uh, the the measuring cups, you'd want to pack it really hard. That's going to give you a good eight ounces, one cup. Okay, so you need two cups packed. Uh, also, you need one and a third cups of granulated sugar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in now. Okay. There's the one, and that's a little heavy. That's about a third right there. Okay, so there's that. And, of course, we have to go with our usual pound of butter. Okay. Well, uh, now this I, I did soften it up a bit in the microwave. Okay. all that butter. I got a little warm spot right there from the microwave. I let it go a few extra seconds. Okay, last one. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to use my paddle with the mixer. Okay, got my butter, my granulated sugar, and my brown sugar. All in the bowl. Pop it on. Give it a spinny spin. Low. Low temperature. Doesn't need to be fast. We want it to be nice and gradual. Get the butter off the panel. All right, let me just take a second to catch. You'll hear the mixer start working. Wow. Oh, yeah. Still some dry sugar in the bottom. The butter is making its way down. And this is just a basic creaming process, of course. Don't try this at home. Turn the mixer off. <laughs> we'll do it the proper way, I suppose, for the sake of the video. Okay. Now I'm going to mix this until I don't see any more chunks of butter. As long as I see little pieces of butter, like right there, I'm going to keep this, keep mixing. Okay. And that's where it's going to be, right there at the top of the paddle. So we'll get that down into the into the mix, into the bottom. Okay. So, folks, this recipe is for when the store bought cookie dough mix that you buy in the tube at the grocery store ain't going to cut it. Okay. This is the real deal. This is as homemade as it gets. This is like when you want to impress your mother-in-law, this is what you do. Okay? <laughs> All right. So now this is starting to cream lightly. Okay? There's no more chunks of butter, as you can see. It's all the way smooth down to the bottom. So I'm going to start adding eggs one at a time. Okay? What a 
let that first one mix in before I add the next one. And there we go. Alright, I'm gonna get the next one ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and scrape. Now you can see the difference right here. See how it's so much darker at the top of the, the paddle, okay, because that's where the egg hasn't mixed into it yet. So we want it to be all consistent and even, okay. So I'm just working on the paddle first. All right, now I'm going to get down to the bottom of the bowl. And I just want to make sure that I don't leave any solid butter and sugar without egg against the side anywhere. Okay, that's good. What you'll find is, uh, you know, the further down you get, if it's not fully mixed in, you have a different consistency. You know, it'll actually feel different. So you can actually e easily tell where your egg has gotten down to and where you need to scrape. Okay, so now that didn't take long to smooth right out, so we'll add this guy. Get this last one ready. And once you got your first couple in, the rest mix in pretty quick. So, okay. Before I forget, I better add my vanilla. We don't want to forget that. Good Lord. Oh yeah. Mm. Super duper. Okay. Let's get this last one going. Let it, we'll let it mix slow. Low and slow. For another few seconds and then I'll give it one more scrape and then we'll be able to add the flour. As far as the flour is concerned, I'm going to end up using uh, five cups of flour and I'm going to use two teaspoons, yes, teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons, little ones of uh, baking soda. Okay, so we'll be getting this guy out. We'll be using some of this. We'll be using that. All right, let me give this a scrape. Oh yeah, look at that. You can just see the egg hanging off of that. Mm-mm-mm, yum. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay. One more quick little spinny spin. go. Okay, let's go ahead with our flour. I'm going to go ahead and measure out about three cups or so. Three cups on the button. This cup is deceiving. First one goes all the way up to here, then the next one, and then the third one, and then the last one is like to right there because it goes wide, you know. So, anyway, that being said, I'm going to use my teaspoon for some baking soda. All right, now. I want to make sure that I don't have any chunks of baking soda in there. So, I want to mix it in with the flour here, right into the top. Alright, so we'll drop that in, just like so. And now we'll go with another, another two cups of flour. So we will get, oh, we need a little bit more. Said this thing is deceiving this cup. 
All right, perfect. Okay, that's that. And now, we're going to need to add some chocolate chips, but I want to mix some of that flour in first. So, what we're going to do is use, I like to use mini chips because I like uh, lots of chips throughout. That's just me. Some people like to use uh, the big chips and then use, use a few less. I'm going to use, this is a 12 ounce package. I want to use 8 ounces, so I'm going to just pinch off a little bit right here and dump the rest in. But before I do that, I want to get this spinning a little bit. And I want to jog my mixer so that I don't puff my flour away. Starting to get the mixer work. Okay, now that the mixer is working, we can add our chocolate chips. Great. I can smell the chocolate. Can you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. <laughs> Now, this is the kind of thing where you don't want to overmix it, so that's why I'm trying to make my steps and count here. Sorry, make sure I know you got to work with this one, but it's going to be all worth it when we taste these yummy, delicious cookies. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Okay. Off of it, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Don't worry, there's still some there for you to lick off. Of, but if you're if you're good, okay. if you behave, I'll be a good with you. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me wash up my hands real quick. All right, people. So I am going to. I'm gonna go, uh, let's see. Oh, dare believe I can go three by four. Now, you were to let this dough sit for a little while, you know, in the bowl here, not even in the fridge, just let it sit, then it would stiffen up a bit and it would be easier to, uh, to scoop. You'd get a cleaner scoop, just saying. You know what? You know what's going to happen when I bake these? They're going to spread. They're going to run into each other. Oops. I can see it now. Hang on. Let me get another pan. I, I can just...
Okay. You know what that means? We can do two more on each pan. There we go. I think that's better. That'll work. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, folks, I baked these a million times, and I know exactly how long it's going to take. It's going to take, I'm going to bake them for eight minutes on one side. I'm going to turn them around, bake them for another five minutes. I'm going to do it all at um, 290 in my oven, which would be two, uh, three, I'm sorry, 340 in your oven at home. Okay. You know your oven if you've been watching my videos then uh, you know how it works. Uh, you want to, you know, put them in a hot oven, uh, a pre-warmed oven, obviously. You want to uh, put them in, let them go eight minutes, turn the, turn the pan, okay? Now, if you're going to do both of these at the same time and you've got two pans at home in your oven, or two racks, rather, and you can bake them both at the same time, then what I suggest is that you put them both in together and then you bake them, you know, your, your eight minutes, and then when you turn them, switch them, okay? Very important. And uh, if you really wanted to be anal about it, you can um, do your first eight minutes on the lower rack, okay, and then turn it, put them on the upper rack, and then add your second pan, okay? That bakes the bottom first instead of the top. So just keep in mind, that's how it works. All right, I'm going to turn on my oven, let it heat up, bake these guys. Uh, I will set the timer just so that I can uh, assure that, you know, that my time frame is correct and, 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 and right. Eight minutes and, and four minutes. Um, you know, it might take eight minutes and five minutes, but either way, that's about what it is. And you want to err on the side of just a little bit loose instead of extra well done with these because... You know, a chewy cookie is just as, just, you know, you can't beat a chewy cookie, right? I mean, come on. You don't want a burnt cookie, but you can do an, a, a, an almost done cookie, right? Yeah. yeah, always. So, anyway, so uh, sit tight. Enjoy. Keep watching, and, you know, we'll be right back. So. A few moments later. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, basically, uh, as far as the time on the bake... I was right on the money. Eight minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side. Pulled them out. They've been sitting on the table here for about five minutes or so. And they are probably just about ready enough now that we can pick one up off the panning and eat it. So I'm going to take this one. I'll pick this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice and soft in the center. Little, little crisp around the edge. Look at that audience. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> Look at all the chips. See? That's what I was talking about with the minis. Mm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just your classic chocolate chip cookie right there. Mmm. Banging. Wow, that's yummy. Bravo. Mmm. It's not as sweet as a snickerdoodle. It's got a little bit less granulated sugar in it. Wow, this is really good. I don't know what to say about it. Other than it could use a scoop of ice cream, maybe. Mmm. <laughs> a little ice cream between it. Or yeah. Sandwiches. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> that would be really good. Anyway. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you know, it was quickie. Basically, just how to make uh, basic chocolate chip cookies. This is a really good batch. Uh, really good recipe. My, my uh, One of my, my chefs, Jeff Blyer, that 
taught me all kinds of things, wonderful things back when I was a young young lad, a young pup stuffing out of my baking career. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, many props to him for teaching me so much. Thank you so much. But anyway, if you folks, if there's something you want to see, you know, please feel free to ask. Put it down in the comments. If there's any questions that you want to know about, or if, even if it pertains to this recipe or another, throw it down in the comments. And if you'd like and share, subscribe. Tell your friends, you know, that's always very much appreciated. It helps the algorithm so that it helps the channel so that more people can see our stuff. Um, yeah, so all that fun stuff. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed our video. And uh, don't forget, when you bake with love and passion, no matter what you make, it's always sure to be good. So happy baking. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.